Hey guys, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today what I'm going to show you is a, another tutorial on um, Apex Legends. So uh, how you could actually optimize the game performance on this game. So for quite a while now I've been playing this game and what I've noticed is that the game is actually not that optimized yet. And uh, so you have to make a lot of adjustments and optimizations on your computer so that uh, you could actually play this game well so um, let's get started first what I'm going to show you is the uh, most optimal settings for the game itself so we're going to go to our um, let's go to the um, game menu right here and click on settings and under the um, video tab right here uh, under the display mode um, you could choose borderless window or you could select full screen but I would suggest the, um, selecting the full screen um, display, display mode so that the um, operating system would give most of its resources on the game itself. So for um, the aspect ratio we can set it to 16 by 9 or the uh, native aspect ratio on your um, monitor and for the resolution you could set it again to the um, native resolution but if your um, performance is actually terrible and your um, computer is not at high end I would not suggest um, to be uh, playing at around 1920 by 1080 which uh, uses a lot of the um, uh, graphics processing unit or the power of the uh, graphic graphics card so I would suggest to just uh, play around this um, 1280 by 720 or 1366 by 768 um, resolution for the uh, field of view I would suggest um, actually it depends on your um, preferences I would uh, my personally what I would like to use here is around um, the intervals of 100 to 106 which is uh, around 104 because uh, that feels more uh, natural during gameplay so um, for the color blind mode we could skip that one for the uh, vsync we could disable it it's very important to disable it so that uh because it impacts your um gameplay for performance and the um uh, usage of your graphics card uh during game or during your gameplay so let's jump to the uh, adaptive resolution fps target for this um, option, we could uh, set it to around 50 to 60 FPS depending on your um, current uh, uh, or your preference. For uh, Personally, uh, I would set it to uh, around 50 um, FPS because uh, it, it is actually stable in-game and it actually helps especially during those times where there's a lot of things that are happening during games such as bombs and effects and explosions which uh, could uh, make or cause the FPS to go down to a uh, an unstable FPS would uh, that would actually affect our gameplay so setting it to a certain target would actually help you have a uh, better and stable gameplay although um, Take note that um, this uh, option uh, makes the game render into a, a lower resolution so that it could compensate um, on the uh, events that are happening or uh, in order for it to uh, re uh, achieve the target frame rate. Um, so uh, be careful on setting it way too high especially if you have a low end computers or um, because you might end up um, having a blurry gameplay which actually what I've experienced before uh, when everything's was everything here was set to default everything seemed to be blurry and uh, I actually did another tutorial on that one so um, let's again just set it to around 50 or 40 depending or uh, or even 60 you could set it to 60 but for me I would um, set it to 50 for a, the adaptive super sampling we could ena enable that one because what this does is that it actually um, uh, does the opposite of this one which uh, if there is uh, for example the your computer is able to uh, render a, a better resolution or better uh, graphics um, then uh, 
it would uh, try to render that one rather than rendering a lower resolution and then um, for the anti-aliasing it would be uh, actually be disabled if this um, option is enabled so for the uh, texture streaming budget so what I would set here is actually even if I have a 4 gigabytes of uh, VRAM I would set it to none and for the um, texture texture filtering we're going to set it to bilinear and the ambient occlusion quality we're going to disable that one sun shadow coverage we're going to set it to low and also the sun shadow detail spot shadow detail will also be left disabled volumetric lighting we are going to also disable that one since it actually affects most of your um, GPU uh, load uh, and also the uh, dynamic spot shadows we're going to uh, disable that one for the um, model detail we could uh, set it to low it effects detail set it to low and for the um, impact marks um, what I actually does this is actually set it to high because it's very important to um, see the um, impact marks or, or the marks where your enemy has actually left or any um, battle uh, events that would leave you any clues so uh, that def depends on your um, you'd set it to low or um, disabled but I uh, would prefer to, s to be set on high so for the uh, ragdolls I'm setting it to low so that yeah it's about the physics of the game or the body animations so after that one we're going to hit the apply button and we're going to change some some settings on our desktop so our, our computer rather so we're going to go to our um, start menu then go to type in power options and you will be um, if you're on Windows um, you're supposed to get this um, option right here power options so um, right now I'm on a balanced um, power plan but we're going to go to is click on this change plan settings and um, under the change advanced power settings we're going to um, change or uh, find the um, PCI Express uh, option right here expand that one and you're going to see the link state power management extend that one and by default it would be set to around uh, moderate power sa power savings or maximum power savings so what this does is this limits the performance of your graphics card so that it would uh, um, uh, reduce the power consumption of your graphics card which also affects your um, which would actually affect your um, in um, in game performance so we're going to set that to off and then under the um, processor power management we're going to open up our um, minimum processor state make sure it's around uh, 2 uh, to um, maybe 0% to 2% and for the maximum power state set it to 800 and then um, after that one you hit apply ok and uh, you can close that one lastly um, what I'm going to suggest is to uh, minimize uh, or uh, reduce the animations on windows so we're going back to our start menu right here and we're going to type in um, PC settings and we're going to open up our system right here and uh, going to go to the about tab and click on system info under the system info we're going to go to our um, advanced system settings we're going to be taken to this um, system properties we're going to go to the advanced tab and under performance going to click the settings right here and uh, click for the um, adjust for best performance so what this does it would uh, turn off 
every um, effects on your windows which would actually free up um, some resources uh, that could be used by the game itself so hit apply and okay so um, that's it guys um, uh, that's the uh, tips that I could actually give so that you could optimize your game performance on Apex Legends and hopefully someday uh, or anytime a few weeks from now Apex would um, improve or um, provide patches or um, optimizations for the game itself so thanks for watching if this video helped you leave a like and uh, and uh, leave your comments down below peace out